Hi, good morning. It's half past seven and I've got to go to work. And today I'm reviewing from my atomizer today. I'm wearing Iris Ganache from Galan. And I will be wearing the original formula that I had, the old uh, decant from before it got discontinued. And I will also be wearing this and seeing if there are any differences. I'm going to spray it now. This is my lovely atomizer. I better hurry up because I'm going to be late for work. That was a small spray, so we did an extra one there, one there, one there. And then I will do my wrists off camera. But already it smells gorgeous. Caramelly, caramelly iris. It's kind of thick and sweet. I feel like the... Um, the juice has changed since I got it, which is good. When I first got it, the iris smelt a little bit more tinny, like a little bit more metallic, and there was a fresher feel to the opening, although I feel like it does get to what the original is quite quickly. So I think the only difference, at the moment, I think the only difference is the age of the juice that I've got, but we'll definitely explore that in depth. So off to work for me, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Hello, so it's the end of the day. It's 6 p.m., so quite a long time ago since I filmed this morning at 7.30 a.m. And Iris Ganache has been going strong all day long. It's definitely giving me a kind of caramel toffee feel along with that iris. And it's kind of, it's rich and resinous and warming. Bit difficult to explain how it smells actually. I do feel like there's some kind of violet aspect to it, but it doesn't translate directly like a palmer violet. You just kind of get this slightly violety feel from it. And there's a sharpness and something kind of citrusy in there, but I don't I don't think it's actually necessarily citruses that I'm smelling. It's really interesting. So the review will continue. This is just me wearing it and seeing how I feel and what I want to say about it. I'll come back with some more a little bit later. But I'm going to do another spray now on my wrist just to refresh. But this new stuff, this uh, new formulation is really really good I say new formulation it could potentially be it probably is the original formulation but it's fresh juice that's what I mean fresh juice So Iris Ganache, is there a difference between the previous pre-discontinued formulation and this current new available juice? My conclusion is I really don't think so. I don't think the formulation's changed, but I do notice that when I use my old stuff, it's very rich immediately from the bottle from the decant. When I spray the new stuff here, it does start out lighter and fresher. I can smell the iris more like you get in a modern fragrance. So a little bit more metallic, a little bit more noticeable, but it changes very quickly within five minutes on my skin. I really can't tell the difference between the previous stuff and this current stuff. So I don't think you should be afraid. If you are a lover of Iris Ganache, do not be afraid to 
go ahead and get this new juice. It is really, really stunning. Just to give you a general overview of how it smells, it really does seem to transform. Every time I smell it, I notice something different. I never used to think it was that chocolatey, but there is this kind of light, almost abstract milk chocolate powdery thing that I get a whiff of here and there with it. It does definitely smell gourmand-ish, but it doesn't smell outright blatant chocolate, outright gourmand. It smells like a fragrance. It is really beautiful. The iris is rich. It's powdery to start with, but the powderiness seems to creep away quite quickly and it does have more of a waxy kind of feel. It feels ethereal, it's not in your face thick or heavy, but it is very noticeable, it lasts extremely well. I will get a full day's wearing, at least 10 hours every single time I wear it. Uh, I've had comments that it smells a bit like marshmallows and I totally get that. Um, it does have that kind of, you know how iris can smell a little bit like Turkish Delight, icing sugar, that kind of thing. It really does morph on your skin so what you smell at the beginning is not the same as what you smell at the end but it gently undulates from one thing to another so it's not, um, it's not taking you on a wild and wacky journey it's more like you're bobbing around on a lazy river. Yeah, that's quite a nice, uh, a nice idea, I think. It just is beautiful. It kind of feels a bit caramelly, a little bit toffee-like, but it never is too sweet. It's not overtly sweet. And it kind of, I think, it's a tiny bit spicy and resinous, perhaps, but very, very smooth. It's like the most expensive dessert you could ever, ever lay your teeth into. I adore Iris Ganache. It's way up there. It's totally in my top three favorite fragrances of all time. I really, really love it. And I love the presentation of the bee bottle and that uh, they give you that lovely atomizer too, that's a really nice touch. Atomizer feels really quality and heavy and it does the job, just what you need. So that's my review of Iris Ganache. I hope you like my little background of Smurfs and perfume and cherubs and stuff. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I've been away for a little while but I've been busy house hunting so more of that later on.